fit, formidable, and fantastic. Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode. So, here I'm coming at you with another installment of Ask Corey. And I felt this question was especially important for vegans in general, hence why I chose it. Uh, so, let's get it rolling. Hi Corey, um, I'm putting some serious research uh, into becoming a vegan. Um, I am interested in being active, of course, uh, surfing being uh, my main passion. I don't think I'll be doing any bodybuilding. I'm not too sure my joints can sort of take it. Um, I'm becoming a uh, got shoulder thing going on, ankle thing, my knees are starting to feel a bit dodgy, and um, some sort of information that the doctors provide me with is saying that omega-3s are very good for someone who I think I might be getting arthritis and things at the age of nearly 28. Um, now I'm doing some research and apparently you can only get long chain omega-3s from animal sources, fatty fish, whereas uh, chia seeds and flax seeds apparently they only contain a short chain of omega-3. Um, this, this is kind of troubling me. I would obviously love to go completely plant-based, but if the long chain omega-3 can only be found uh, from an animal source, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure what to do about it. So, I mean, um, an answer to this would be great. You know, people have been vegan for a long time, so is there a way around it? I certainly wouldn't want, you know, my joints to get worse. Um, an answer to this would be fantastic. Thank you very, very much. I want to start by saying that I am not a medical doctor. This video is not intended as a replacement for official medical diagnosis or treatment. I'm just simply answering your question straightforward. Take it precisely for what it is. Uh, so moving along, there is a vegan source of long-chain omega-3s, algae. In fact, consumption of marine algae like seaweed is the way in which fish obtain their EPA and DHA. And you can do this by supplementing an algae-based EPA and DHA supplement, typically in the form of an oil, going right to the damn source, skipping the middleman. And there are many brands available if you run a quick Google search, ranging from Diva, Nordic Naturals, Opti3, Vitacost, and the one I personally use, Flora 7 Sources. It is also worth noting that a 2012 meta-analysis conducted on algae-based sources did not demonstrate the existence of the same contaminants that have been found in fish sources. Thus, the algae sources appear to be less polluted, cleaner if you will. As a result, better for you, the fish, and the environment. Now that all being said, short-chain omega-3s, or ALA, are not useless. The ALA you obtain through your diet and or supplementation can be converted by your body into EPA and DHA. Good sources of vegan ALA uh, omega-3s include seeds such as flax seeds, mustard seeds, rape seed, uh, chia seeds and hemp seeds, nuts like walnuts, leafy greens like romaine, arugula, spinach, and purslane, uh, beans such as mung beans, navy beans, kidney beans, and soybeans. Cabbages such as cauliflower, broccoli, bok choy, and Brussels sprouts. And finally, winter squashes such as acorn squash, butternut squash, and pumpkins. And while all of those are good, some are actually better than others when taking into account uh, omega-3 versus omega-6, for instance. Mung beans from that list contain 15 times more omega-3 than omega-6. And it is understandable why your doctor would recommend omega-3s given your condition. According to research, omega-3 essential fatty acids are comparable to ibuprofen with regards to anti-inflammatory effects. As a side note, there are other noteworthy natural anti-inflammatories like, but not limited to, white willow bark, uh, curcumin, which is derived from turmeric, green tea, picogenol, and uh, capsicum. Uh, perhaps some of those might help your quality of life as well. Uh, it's all worth discussing with your doctor, and I've linked all of my references down in the description of this video. Uh, in conclusion, I see no reason for you to turn to animal products for long-chain omega-3s or to aid in your condition. I see no reason why you cannot be vegan. So, I'm wishing you the best, and to all of my viewers, do like and share this video if you found it informative. Perhaps it can help educate others. Uh, furthermore, please subscribe to my channel if you've yet to do so. And, um, uh, till next time. And don't forget to send me your questions for a future Ask Corey installment. Just go to the link provided in the description below.